Secretary of State Antony Blinken is in Israel tonight, his fourth visit since the Hamas terror attack, telling Israel the Palestinian death toll is far too high. Andrea Mitchell spoke with the secretary in an exclusive interview. Tonight, hostage families protesting for a ceasefire and the return of their loved ones outside Secretary Blinken's hotel, as he was meeting inside with Israeli officials, but later changed his schedule to hear their complaints in person. For them, these three months have been an eternity. I met with some of them after they met with mm. you. They're angry. Mm. Where is the big stick, they said. Why can't you save our six children? Mm. How do you answer that? Well, first, no, no one can put themselves fully in the shoes of the families of the, the hostages. The hard part is uh, the enemy gets a vote. Hamas. The secretary is saying negotiations are ongoing, despite recent targeted killings of Hamas and Hezbollah leaders widely attributed to Israel. You haven't been given any optimism or any hope that Hamas will negotiate for hostage releases despite those assassinations? Uh, in short, yes. It's my belief that uh, they can and will engage on this. I pressed the secretary on the enormous death toll in Gaza, including the tragic killing of the Al Jazeera bureau chief's eldest son after he had already lost two children, his wife and grandson. Did you raise that with the government here in Israel? Because there are many who believe that these are targeted killings of this bureau chief's ch children and wife, first, the entire family. First, Andrew, as I said, I don't, I don't think any of us can possibly imagine what this man has been through. And when it comes to Palestinian men, women and children, or for that matter, when it comes to journalists, we have consistently, and including today, urged, pressed uh, the Israelis to do everything possible to avoid civilian casualties. Blinken also said the U.N. is the only game in town for getting more food to starving Gazans, and they're working to get Israel to open more entry points for aid. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.